want to talk a little bit about the pipe we use, the fabric we use, how we use it, and why we use it in, in the way that we use it. So a lot of guys are just wrapping the pipe, and then they'll put the pipe in, and they'll pull their stone in. We don't do that, and I'll tell you why. This subsoil right here, if you just pour stone, let's say we just wrap the pipe right there, or you have a pipe with a sleeve or a sock on it, and now you just fill this in with stone, and you put the grass back over top. This subsoil mixes with the stone, and the stone migrates into this subsoil. It plugs here, the system plugs here. So to have a pipe with a sleeve or a sock on it, and I even see guys that'll take drainage fabric and wrap the pipe, it's a really bad idea. That's not the right way to uh, build a good French drain system. So. For a French drain system, never use the pipe with a sleeve or a sock on it. Don't wrap your pipe with a filter wrap because you're going to want to wrap. You need a soil separator so that your stone and subsoil don't mix, and, it, and it'll plug here. What good is having a pipe that's not plugged if you can't get the water to it? So we wrap everything. This is a soil separator. We'll have the stone and pipe, and we'll wrap it all. That's, that's how we do it. That's a philosophy on how we build a drainage system. And it works. It works really well. Over 30 years and there's not one that's failed. Now another question, people say, well, you're putting your pipe right on the fabric. Yes, I am. This is not a pipe where you just have a couple holes at the bottom. This has eight slots per valley. So it's gonna take in the water from the sides, from the top. And because I have the fabric, I can lay this in the trench. The reason why I like laying the pipe right on the fabric, we take this to a storm drain catch basin. We want to empty the entire trench out. We're here in the north. This, during our freeze, we could end up with water freezing that's laying in the French drain tre trench. If you just raise this pipe up a few inches and put a bunch of stone under it, you lay it on a few inches of stone, and then you go through the sidewall of a storm drain catch basin or a sump pump uh, basin, our lift stations. You see uh, through our videos, all the different things that we build, you're gonna leave water in the trench. I want the pipe at the bottom. I wanna drain the entire trench out right up until the, the location of discharge so that it don't freeze come winter time. That'll hurt the performance of the drainage system. So to answer some of the questions, uh, that some of the comments and questions that I've been uh, receiving, um, definitely always use a soil separator. Don't use a pipe with a sleeve or a sock on it. And yes, once you have your entire trench wrapped, you can put your pipe down. As long as it's a pipe, if, if you're using corrugated pipe that's slotted, you got it doesn't matter if it's three slot, four slot staggered. In this case, I got the eight slots per valley. If you watch the videos, you guys know I really like this pipe. I use it whenever possible because it really moves a lot of water. For a French drain system built right the first time in Shelby Township, Michigan, give us a call. 